And so uh, I've got some great books out there that will help you on timing. It, it, it is a special anointing that you have to, I want to say this right, you almost have to practice it with the Lord. You, where you get used to that anointing of not being in time. See, if you'll get used to when you're not in time, you'll know when his presence is so on you and you are in time. See, it's just as important you recognize when you're not in time, even when you're going to the grocery store, as it is when you are in time. And so these are different days that we're having to understand things like this. So I do want to say there will come a time where you'll worship in Trenton, you'll worship in Philadelphia, you'll worship in D.C., worship in Charleston, and then there will be a reversal of division in this land. And it will come that route. I don't... I. I Lord, I'm, I'm not sure why. I've, I've, the glory came one time in Trenton for us. So I know there's a glory realm there that has never fully fallen. So uh, it's some reason that God has that path historically for to reactivate. And so, and, and to go that route with it. Uh, to reverse division in this nation. Now, I want to be sure we understand the timing. I want us to be able, I like to interact with pictures so you can see exactly some of the things that Joshua was saying. See, this is a great picture of this year. We're building the house for the future. What you're doing right now is setting a course for the next seven years. And you're going to build, and the word build means several things, but it means to add sons and daughters too, but it actually means to set up a framework that you're reinforcing until you are steady. And a good way to think about this is, the three little pigs this year. Are, are you building with straw? Are you building with sticks? Are you building with bricks? How are you building so you reinforce yourself against the wind of the adversary? That's another way to think about this. And so I believe this was a very key that we had this meeting because you finally have a new place you're building from. And that's, that's key. Uh, I think this fully represents what this looks like. Um, and we've been going through the similar thing. Now, future means expected end. See, what the enemy's trying to rob from us most times, why he's he doesn't play fair with you, so never think he plays fair. There's a great book out there called Time to Defeat the Devil. He will never play fair with you. Do not ever fall into a trap thinking he will leave you alone and not pray f play fair. If you have an ounce of anointed, now say out loud, I am anointed. He will never play fair with you. And so what he's trying to do is to get you out of time or get you uh, legalistically encased in a smaller boundary than God intends you to be. He uses time and law. See, that's why religion is so important for us to recognize because religion it has so much law in it it becomes an occult force in the earth against you and so he is attempting to make sure you don't have a future because God knows that see he's the same yesterday today and forever so that's why the enemy wants you to never get out of yesterday. 
or never forgive anything that's gone on in your past because then you can't ever get into your future. Or the enemy wants you to get bound up in the present just today and you're going to end up not seeing your path ahead. Because God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. That means he is past, present, and future. And how God works, he has you stand in the moment. He'll bring your past, Trenton, up to you and say, we're going to bring what Trenton experienced into the moment, and then we're going to cast what goes on there when heaven and earth align with it into the future. See? And, and then we're going to attach it with Philadelphia and we're going to move what was there into the future and move that to Washington, D.C. Then we're going to move that from there into Charleston. And uh, it's going to break a power of division because your worship is going to recreate the atmosphere and the earth realm of where things never did fully manifest. 